Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting here for Tom O'Brien. My pleasure to be here. Dow is up 387, making up more than the loss on Friday. And that's really important because it is hugging the nine-period exponential moving average. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, it's at 33,864. But to tell you the truth, Friday's close after the Fed speak on Wednesday, after all the CPI, PPI, and all those numbers come out, um, we want to see on Friday a close in perhaps the 34,100 area. Is that too too much to ask? Rather than 33,400 or lower. So let's get to this. We'll look at the S&P. The S&P at this particular point is also up nicely. The S&P is trading. Let me just click on that right there. The S&P is trading at, whoops, there we go. S&P is trading at... Uh, 3973 up 38 also very good not not the pattern itself is just it needs a little more to be matching the dow i did not put a down arrow even though it's a peak d actually let me just show this real quickly for those of you who are new to my work um i i try to identify the lowest low bar as soon as it starts to make a, a higher peak or peaks i alphabetize them sequentially a through g a b c d e f g if it gets upgraded from a buy signal to a buy mode, it means it should go to at least a D. You'll see how many Ds there are. At least a D can go D, E, or even F. But in the meantime, back at the range, Ds where other things can happen. Uh, we're only, only looking at three patterns in terms of the direction. Straight up, straight down. Cup formation where it goes from one point down and then back again. Could be a V or a cup. And an arch formation where it could go from one point up in an inverse V or, or an arch Come back down. How it tests the low is important. This is red. It looks like a lowercase h because if it goes to a peak A and a B and then fails, takes out this left side low, can quite, could go quite a bit lower. And on the right side, the green reverse Y means if it takes out that left side high, it can go quite a bit higher. And one other thing that I'll just show you right now, um, I usually talk about it, don't often show it. This is going to be really important for the month of December. The long, narrow rectangle or the large rectangle. Yeah, let's go to each one of these things, and I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at. Um, uh, yes, I will look at Amazon in a moment. Let's just get to this. So the S&P has made this peak D. Remember, the objective in the Chapman Wave is to get you to at least a D. But also, I talk about the 200 period exponential moving average. How important is that? Well, you want to know how important it is? Have a look at this. This is the E-mini one-minute chart. Whoops, it, uh, I lost the letter there, but put it over there. Where does it need to go to? To at least a D. What has this gone to a D in the one-minute chart? It's gone to a D in the uh, five-minute chart. It's in a leg D in the 10-minute chart. These are the techniques that I'll be uh, working on. We'll be trading these. We'll be uh, studying them. We'll be looking at a couple of other uh, instruments that we'll use for trading on this coming Thursday. So don't forget, you've got your Tiger Dollars today. End of the end of the Tiger Dollar uh, rewards. Can you believe 20 to 40 percent um, gain you get on your on your buying of these uh, these um, dollars? Because if you if you buy it, you can get up to a 20 or 40 percent discount. Isn't that great? Oh, we got we got a call. Did you say L? Let's see. We have we have. Oh, do we have a caller? Uh, no, I didn't have a call. All right, we'll go right back to what we. Hello? Yes. We do? Who, who am I speaking with? Uh, Sam from Philly. Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing, Basil? I'm doing very well. And you'd like to look at? L.U. Uh, Holdings. Uh, say, oh, how do you, what, what are the symbols? It's L as in Larry, U as in unit. L.U. Okay, that yes. is uh, Lufax Holdings? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So this is the, the way I look at this is the most immediate thing is I look at it and I see a W formation. These U or W formations that I was just talking about a moment ago, it looks like that reverse Y in this particular instance has gone from a low of uh, $1.30 on the 24th of October, it went to the requisite peak A, peak B, and then it kind of stalled. Instead of going to C, what happened was it went A, B, 
I'm just notating from the low bar each successively higher peak, and then it fell and it broke to a lower low. That negates this peak C, becomes a C minus, and that C minus says you've got to restart, and it was uppercase because on the way up you did uppercase. So it restarts, and now it goes peak A, peak B, brand new. I have to put it in. So the stochastic's at 81%, so I can put in an up arrow. It says it should go to at least a D. This is an A right here. That first, that's a peak right there. This is a peak right here, and it's testing it. So today's high is um, $2.19. $2.19, the last high was $2.35, so it's got a little bit of a weight. Are you along this uh, from any position that you can tell me? Yeah, yeah. I, I own it at $1.63, $1.63. Oh, okay, so, uh, you, you, so you, because we're looking at a, a $2 stock, folks, this is not for everybody. But uh, obviously, in this particular instance, Sam has done his homework. Have you ever traded this, traded this before? Uh, yes, sir. And it gives you actually a good dividend. It has a good earning per share, and the PE is low. The only thing is different is a Chinese company. So, All right. The fact that it's a Chinese company is an issue, but um, look, it survived so far, and it's bounced. It's almost doubled from the low that was just made at uh, $1.26 on the 25th. So in that regard, I'm going to say, there's always a risk when you're playing very, very low, very low price, even low price single digit stocks because they can go broke. You know that. So what you're doing now is you, you're looking at it and you're treating it somewhat like an option in the sense that um, you're saying to yourself, well, it's held in the ones for a while. Even if it pulls back, it should give me an opportunity uh, hopefully to get out if it doesn't work. So this is what I, I like to do. And I'll be teaching this mm. in my course on Thursday. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm showing you bar symmetry. I go to a particular bar and then I measure the number of bars on the left and the measure of the bars on the right. And if it isn't the exact low, I choose a particular bar to do this. Can you hold on? And I'll give you uh, the results sure. of what I'm looking at. Good. Yes, sir. We've got, we've got Sam in Philly, Dow's of 393, S&P's up 38. This is Basil Chapman. And this is the Tom O'Brien Show. I'll be right back.